In this tutorial, we're going to use paint and we're going to draw on a picture or on a screenshot. Previously, we had added some text and we had added an arrow and done some clipping. Now we're going to try drawing on the screen. So we're going to open up paint by clicking start and all programs and accessories and paint. And we're going to open up a file. So we're going to click the menu button and then click open. And we're going to open up the screenshot from the previous tutorial. And so if I open up that one, then I've got my screenshot. If I scroll down and it's got the text that we had added before and it's got the arrow that we'd added before. What we want to do now is actually draw something on the screen. A lot of people like to just draw things or edit things. I know my kids like to just mess around with that kind of stuff. So to draw on the screen, we need a brush. And so we'll click the brush tool. And now we've got a brush on our mouse cursor. I don't know, you can see the little black dot that kind of follows me around there. That's the brush itself. You can change the brush. You can change it to a marker or a pen or whatever. We're just going to leave it as a standard brush. And we're going to change the color on that. I don't want it to be black. I want it to be orange to match our previous things that we were drawing with. And then I want it to be a little bigger. I want it to be a big thick brush stroke. So we can click the size button and change it to a larger brush stroke. So now you can see I've got this orange dot and the orange dot kind of approximates how thick your stroke is going to be when you draw. So what I want to do is just draw something on the screen. Let's say I wanted to illustrate this a little more. I might want to draw like some kind of speech bubble or something. And then I could put something in there like some text. So you don't have to use the text tool to do text if you want to try drawing on the screen. The text button itself does look a little more professional because obviously it's easier to read and it's a standardized font and it is kind of hard to draw letters with the mouse cursor. And the way that I did that in case you didn't notice was as I just click down with the left mouse button anywhere that I go puts the brush stroke and so then when I let go of the left mouse button then it frees up my cursor again. And that's how we go ahead and paint things on the screen with a brush. And that's our tutorial for today.